Hello children, welcome to the year 3 science. Welcome to the lesson Electricity. This lesson has been designed for a 30 minutes lesson period. This lesson comprises of five segments. Looking around us. Our science lab. Mr. SPI will tell you about. Song. And what have we learnt today? This video is designed with fun with science in mind. You will have a fun time watching the segment and enhancing your knowledge on the concepts you have learnt in school. In segment looking around us, we will learn Batteries provide a supply of electricity. Uses of electricity. In segment Our Science Lab, we will learn about Complete circuits and incomplete circuits. Switch is used to control the flow of the electric current in a circuit. Carry out the fair test to find out the comparison between two batteries and fourth batteries. In segment Mr. SPI will tell you about, we will learn about the uses of electricity. In segment songs, we will have a fun time singing a song about electricity. In segment What Have We Learned Today, we will see the important points from these lessons. Hello everybody! My name is Mr. SPI. S for science, P for private, and I for investigator. Today, I am your host. Whoa! Welcome to the Science Zone. From here, I will take you to explore the world of science. Today, our mission is to learn about electricity. Wow! Our friends are having lots of fun playing with their remote-controlled cars. Hmm, why did that car stop? Oh, the batteries are dead. You see, toy cars work on batteries. Why? Because batteries provide a supply of electricity to the car. It is this power from the battery that makes the car move. This remote control also needs batteries to work. The batteries need to be put in properly. Otherwise, the remote will not be able to work.
Hey, road safety is important. Speed kills. Thank goodness this is only a toy car. Batteries are used in all kinds of toys. Batteries are also found in many things that we use every day. Without battery power, our modern day lives would be very difficult and uncomfortable. The electricity supplied by batteries is very useful and important in times of emergencies like this. Why isn't the torchlight bright? Maybe the electric current in the batteries is losing its strength. The batteries are going flat. Toy cars work on batteries. Why? Because batteries provide a supply of electricity to the car. This remote control also needs batteries to work. The batteries need to be put in properly. Otherwise, the remote will not be able to work. Batteries are used in all kinds of toys. Batteries are also found in many things that we use every day. Without battery power, our modern day lives would be very difficult and uncomfortable. The electricity supplied by batteries is very useful and important in times of emergencies. Hello friends, today we are going to learn about electricity. In year 2, you learn about batteries and circuits. Do you still remember what complete circuits and incomplete circuits are? Good! This is a complete circuit looks like. Pump, wire, battery, and a switch. When the circuit is complete, the bulb lights up. This is because an electric current is able to flow through it. A switch is used to control the flow of the electric current in a circuit. When the switch is on, the circuit is complete. This is when the bulb lights up. Let's see what happens when we turn off the switch. Ah! The bulb doesn't like up. This means that the circuit is incomplete. Today, we will learn about brighter and dimmer. Here, I have a pump, battery, a length of wire, and a switch. Look at the bulb carefully. What do you think will happen if I add more batteries. Well, to find out, let's make a comparison. We use two batteries and the other one using four batteries. Which one will break up the bulb? That's right, the bulb that is using four batteries is brighter. To sum up, we can say that a bulb becomes brighter if we use more batteries. That's because more batteries will produce a greater amount of electricity for the bulb to use. 
Let's do another experiment on circuit. Again, I have two complete circuit. Each one has only one bulb. It looks like both bulbs are just as bright. Now, look carefully. What do you think will happen if I add one more bulb to the second circuit? Yes, both bulbs in this circuit are much dimmer than the bulb in the first circuit. So, this is my conclusion. The more bulbs we use in a circuit, the dimmer they become. Okay, that's it from me. Now, I will let Mr. SPI take you on an even more exciting journey through the world of electricity. Just where does electricity comes and what is it? We use electricity in our homes, in offices and also in factories. In Malaysia, this electricity is supplied to both towns and villages by a national electricity utility company called Tenaga National Berhad. Tenaga National Berhad produces and supplies electricity to homes, shops and factories. This is done with the help of huge generators. Electricity can also be produced by generators like this one here. Generators like this are usually used in places where there is no electricity supply. And as I showed you earlier, electricity can also be produced by batteries. Do you remember what batteries do? Good! I'm glad you do. Electrical equipment will work only if the electricity supply that is needed is in a complete circuit. Not all objects allow electricity to flow through them. Let's test these things to see if electricity can flow through them. A coin, a paper clip, a key, a wooden ruler, a plastic ruler, a nail, an eraser, and a piece of paper. Okay, here goes. The coin, yes. The paper clip, okay, it can conduct electricity. The brass key, yes, it can. The wooden ruler, no. The plastic ruler, hmm, no, it can conduct electricity. The nail? Yes. The eraser? No. And the piece of paper? No. It's a bad conductor. From that simple experiment, we found out that not all materials can conduct electricity. Materials that allow electricity to flow through them are called conductors and those that do not are called non-conductors. Let's make a list of conductor and non-conductors. So, I'm sure that you have learned quite a lot about electricity today. Just 
In this lesson, you have learnt about electricity. We have seen how to make a bulb in a circuit brighter or dimmer. We add the battery to the circuit. When more batteries are connected to a circuit, the bulb is brighter. We can also make the bulb in a circuit dimmer. We add the bulb to the circuit. The bulb can be made dimmer when more bulbs are added to the circuit. We have learned two ways to make the bulb brighter. A battery is added to the circuit. This makes the bulb become brighter. We remove one bulb from the circuit. This makes the bulb become brighter. We have also learned two ways to make a bulb dimmer. We remove a battery from the circuit. This makes the bulb become dimmer. We add one bulb to the circuit. This makes the bulb become dimmer. Some objects conduct electricity. A copper coin is made of copper. A nail and key are made of iron. A silver spoon is made of silver. These are metal objects. Metal objects conduct electricity. Electricity flows through these objects. They are called conductors. Objects that allow electricity to flow through them are conductors. Some objects do not conduct electricity. A pencil is made of wood. A glass is made of glass. An eraser is made of rubber. A plastic ruler is made of plastic. Objects that are made of wood, glass, rubber, and plastic do not conduct electricity. Electricity does not flow through these objects. They are called non-conductor electricity. Non-conductor do not allow electricity to flow through them. A bulb will light up when a circuit is complete. It will not light up if a circuit is not complete. To make the complete circuits, we need batteries, bulbs, wires, battery holder, bulb holder, circuit board, switch. A bulb lights up when it is connected to the battery with two wires. What makes the bulb light up? The battery produces electricity. The electricity flows along the wires and through the bulb. This makes the bulb lights up. This is what we called complete circuit. If we remove the wires from the bulb, the bulb does not light up. Electricity does not flow through the circuit. This is what we called uncompleted circuit. We have seen that the bulb lights up when the switch is on. When a switch is turned on, the circuit is complete. Electricity flows in the circuit. When the switch is off, the switch breaks the circuit. When a switch is turned off, the circuit is not complete. Electricity does not flow in the circuit. A switch is used to complete or break a circuit. That's all for today. I hope you will remember what you learnt from Ibrahim and me at the Science Zone. Goodbye.